Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning, and we're going to come together this morning and read Psalm 25. Let's hear God's word. O oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced, but disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown from long ages past. Do not re remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. He leads the humble into doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. For the honour of your name, O Lord, forgive my many, many sins. Who are those who fear the Lord? He will show them the path they should choose. They will live in prosperity and their children will inherit the land. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. My eyes are always on the Lord, for he rescues me from the traps of my enemies. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am alone and in deep distress. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. See how many enemies I have and how viciously they hate me. Protect me. Rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced. For in you I take refuge. May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my, tr my hope in you. O God, ransom Israel from all its troubles. Amen. Again, another psalm of lovely words. Another psalm which reminds us again of, of who God is, but reminds us of some of the truths about God. When you read verse 5, it says, Lead me from your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. you know, we all put our hope in something. We all trust something or someone. Um, you know, We all have something which we idolise. The question is, who do we put our hope and our trust in? You, know, you see people following football clubs or rugby clubs or certain personalities. They follow everything they say and do. Um, they respond through Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Um, and everything about them just screams about their team that they follow or the, the celebrity that they want to be like. Some people even go as far as having plastic surgery to try and make themselves look like that person, like their idol. They put their hope or trust in that person. But that person is just a person. That person has a life which comes and goes. And like the rest of us, they're just as flawed. Where do we put our hope? Where do we put our trust? Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. Put your hope in Christ. Put your hope in God. Like verse 8 says, the Lord is good and does what is right. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness. Let's follow Christ. Let's pray together this morning. Father, thank you for how clear your word is. Thank you for how it teaches us. Lord, help us to put our hope and trust always in you. We know that when we put it in people, we'll be let down. We know that they are flawed, but you are perfect. Help us to trust you. Lord, we again on Friday, at the time of the weekends coming up, a time whenever maybe a lot of us would be hoping to relax and unwind and 
in days come past we've been going out to do things Lord we remember those who are still shielding at this time we ask that you be with them and help them Lord as the as the, the, the ending of shielding approaches just give them confidence give them a sense of your protection and that as they do start to go out and do things again that you'll be with them and Lord help all of us to look after them to look after the ones that we care for and who we love that we will be able to to show them that we love them and care for them through how we act and Lord help us to show that to other people as well when we're out and about help us to be responsible help us to show a standard um, that show that there is care for your people and care for this world and Lord help us through that to let your love be be known and your love be seen Father, help us to put our trust in you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, folks, for joining with me this morning. Um, I trust that it is a good day for you. I trust that you do get to relax and unwind a little bit over the weekend. Uh, and I know that, that you know God's peace and blessing. Uh, not streaming tomorrow morning, but back again on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock for our live stream service. So I trust that I will see you then. Take care. God bless. Bye.